Alright, Adley, I'm counting on you. First, let's get out the flyers. Such an annoying mission, I swear. Yes, we'll participate. It's our first round fight. Mhm. Mm yeah. Your character is different somehow, isn't it? You just noticed? It's a job <laughs> extension. It won't make up for not having a third person, but it should help with our chances for victory. Let's do our best! Not much longer now. Mm. The spectator seats are filled up. <sighs> it really feels different when you're about to fight an official match in front of an audience. Mm. Can we win? What do you think, Haseo? Adelie. Yes? What? Calm down. Okay. I'm sorry. I wonder if Syllabus and Gaspard will come to watch us. They will. I'm sure. So. Gotta put on a fight we won't be ashamed of. I'll do my best! <laughs> <laughs> Ever so cheerful, Adelie. Thank you very much for your support. Let's do this. Hey, the match is about to start. Hmm, so he did forfeit the match after all. I'm surprised. He's got more guts than I figured. Didn't think he'd get a job extension. The moment you've been waiting for, it's the first round of the Demon Palace Tournament. Today's commentator is... We're pleased to have Kestrel's Guildmaster, Mr. Gobby, here. Ha! Perfect weather for a picnic. Now then, what do you think will be the highlight for the upcoming match? How long do you think the newcomer, Team Aseo, can last against Team Bordeaux? Today's Bordeaux is a very good woman. Phew! 27. Oh, gosh. Uh, anyway, it seems that Team Haseo is already down by one. This is gonna be tough. Uh, 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 sword. Oh, she got me. Ah, how come she always gets me first? Got him. Got him. Stay away from my healer. No! Stay away from Adelie. Yeah, how do you like that? Okay, I'll hold him off, Adelie. Just keep me healed. Okay. There. Our secret move. Oof, come on. Yeah. 
Ha! <laughs> now we're even. Actually, I took out them both. It's just you. The odds are in my favor. Not that close. Hey now, little Haseo. What's wrong? You're finished already? No way. Come on, let's go. What's the matter? Try and say something, huh? No. I can't be finished. They're all counting on me. If I lose here, then I... I won't be able to protect anyone. Not Syllabus, not Gaspard, not Adelie, not Shino! Oh, Shino I triggered. I am going to kill you with my own hands. And Endrance, and Triage. Oh god. We're super triggered now. <laughs> I have found you! Come to me. Come on. Come on! Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, our avatar. Yes, we got them all. What was that skill? Instant death? He's the second coming of Endrance. <laughs> What's with that animation? What an unbelievable attack! <laughs> I have no idea how to describe what just happened. This must be disappointing for you as Kestrel's guildmaster. Any comment? Hmm. Is it over already? The match was decided in an instant. Now that it's come to this, we would love to see him fight against the Emperor. <laughs> I'm Gabby! <laughs> yes! 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 Well then, farewell! I guess he's seen enough. Welcome to the world.
<laughs> I see you. We did it. We're finally powerful. Just like we always wanted to be. Hey, Kuhn. How was that? Did you see? That's right. I finally got my avatar. You... You idiot! Do you have any idea at all just how dangerous it is to use an avatar against a human player? Hey, you know what they've done just as well as I do. It's their own fault. They deserved what they got. They deserved it? It's their own fault? Come on! Do you honestly believe that? If you had made one wrong move out there, they could have easily ended up in a coma. What is wrong with you? Don't tell me. Don't tell me you... Ah, oh, shut up already. They woke up from the attack, right? So everything's fine. That's not the point! Give it up, Kuhn. As far as he is concerned, an avatar is nothing more than a useful tool. Oh? What else do you call it, then? Listen to me, Haseo. The power we Epitaph users possess is a power that has deviated from the system of the world. If we use it with no control, the world's rules will end up wrecked. That's why Epitaph users should never, ever use avatars. Except against things like Ida! Well, too bad for you that I'm not a good little boy like you. I use whatever powers I have to their full extent. That is my way. Don't you get it? What you're saying, what you're doing, is the same as the nonsense those hackers spout! Thank you so much for the lecture. But I'm going to use my avatar however I like and whenever I like. Hacker? If that's what you want to call me, fine. But I have no <laughs> intention of changing how I play this game. Haseo! Damn it. I told you. Hmm? He's not fit to be an epitaph user. I'll show you. I'll show you I'm fit. I'll be the greatest epitaph user. You're not my boss. You didn't even help me awaken to the avatar. I did it on my own. No help. Alright, let's save. Is it me or is our other weapon skill not going up either? Because we be used Tiger Blitz a few times in that fight, it doesn't look like our bar moved at all, or appeared rather. Hmm. Maybe we're maxed out. I'll have to look that up. What level do we have to be to get the next one? 27, okay. Let's log out and see what this email's all about. First match. I went to see your first match with Gaspard. That, you were great. It was just like watching Endrance. Really, congratulations. By the way, I have something I'd like to talk to you about. Can you come to our at home? Okay. You got it, buddy. They have another one of those. Fine, let's check it out. Late last night, a middle school student lost consciousness while playing an online game and was not discovered until this morning by her mother, who quickly called 911. The girl was transported to a hospital and regained consciousness several hours later. New robot. 
robot weapon announced. Metal Gear? <laughs> the U.S. Army's new combat robot, Talos, is the perfect robot soldier. Its movement is controlled remotely, and it's armed with a machine gun as well as a 40 millimeter grenade launcher. But more importantly, it has no fear, no family, and does not suffer any emotional stress. <laughs> okay. Shocking on my Oedipus? Oedipus? Something that could never happen in real life is now happening online. A man marrying his mother. A college student by the name of John Doe began to fall in love with a cleric from his guild. John Doe and confessed his love for her several months later. They were married in an online ceremony in the world, the game they met in. But some day later, they two agreed to meet in person for the first time. Who should show up but a son of his and his mother? It is unknown what the husband slash father's reaction was upon hearing the news. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Awful. We have another one of these. I don't know if I even want to watch this. <laughs> eh, fine. We'll watch it. This is Salvador Aihara's online Three minutes long. I'm here with the online Jack crew near the home of Michiru Tajima, fourth grade teacher at a school where six students were struck down by doll syndrome. Let's continue our in your face investigation. <laughs> This is Salvador Ayara. Here I am, reporting from the residence of a female teacher. What a creep. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awful. Oh, samba, samba. Well, here I go. Help! Fire! Oh no, a fire! Where? Good morning, senorita. Huh? Truly a sight that could chill a hundred year passion. <laughs> And that was the end of him. So tell me, the six children who contracted doll syndrome, had they been playing the online game called The World? Well, they did get together and talk about an online game a lot. Hmm, and what are your plans right now? I'm going to the Kawaguchi residence. Osamu Kawaguchi? That's one of the six students who have been resting at home due to doll syndrome. How could you possibly know that information? Now we shall make our way to the Kawaguchi household, where one of the victims of this barbaric illness is being treated. You're not coming. And stop following me! Wait! Not here? It's summer vacation. Maybe he's on a trip. But I told him I was going to visit him. Huh? The meter's spinning like crazy, which means someone is definitely in there. Hello? It's me, Salvador Ihara, born in Brazil, raised in Saitama, friend to lonely housewives. Hey, don't do that. You don't have the right to just barge into someone else's home. But I'm sure everyone at home watching this wants to know what's really going on, right? Huh? I want to know, even if we do break a few laws. <laughs> He's the man of truth. That's <sighs> Salvador. Hey, I hear something up there. Huh? <laughs> Osama? <gasps> the heck? Sakaki. Sakaki? Sakaki? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh snap. Why isn't the re Haseo reacting to that right now? <laughs> I'm playing him watching that. He should definitely have a reaction to that. bug. I just met some weird monster. No matter how much I hit it, its HP won't go down and no status effect worked. 
either. I couldn't even run away when I used smokescreen. Nothing worked. So I turned off the power and the computer did a forced log out. Having, has anyone else fought a monster like this? Was it a new bug or an event monster? Should I contact CC Corporation? It's a pretty weird move you performed there. You didn't ruin your player data? I've never heard of an event like that. I think it was must be a bug. About that monster. What did it look like anyway? Please describe it for us. Thank you for worrying, but no, it was okay. Looks like a normal holy eater. But now that you mention it, the effect the effects were kind of off. There was black spots all around the monster. Also, the screen was kind of fuzzy. Hey, Renji. You're always working hard at leveling up. Nice going. Sorry to hear about the bug. Sounds rough. By the way, where did you meet the this bug monster anyway? Tell us the details. Hmm, black spots, huh? Renji, I could have like to hear all the details. Is there somewhere we can meet to talk? This may be important. Guildmaster, forgive me for not showing up lately. Or I forgot the area word. Please forgive me. Uh, I'm currently building up my third character. Do you mind talking while I build my character? Isn't that kind of rude, Renji? You should at least look at him while you talk. I'd like to hear what Renji has to say, too. I'll let us use my guild hall to talk in. I'll give you the key, so meet me at Makanu, okay? It's alright with Renji, it's alright with me. Duda, you run a guild? That's the first I've heard of that. Yeah, I never mentioned it before. The guild name is Imperio. By the way, Echifalon? Is it in too? Oshino 8 c says it's okay. Is it okay with you? Uh, that will be fine, Guildmaster. I'll be waiting at the Imperial Guild Hall. If you run away, I'll smash you up. <laughs> See you at Makanu. Smash up, cough. That's pretty extreme power imbalance. Okay, I'll see you at Makanu. Job of multi weapon. So here's the new thread. This originates from the job extension thread. This purpose of the thread is to explain why rogues are weaker than other classes. Okay, all you le lecturers, let's hear what you have to say. I end up leaving it to you guys, lol. Please, someone? I would also appreciate hearing this. Yes, please. I guess I've been asked to answer this, lol. Well, let me start off with a rogue's characteristics. Strong points. It can use tons of weapons. Character appearance changes with job extend. It looks, it just looks so damn cool. Well, weak points. It can use lots of weapons, but isn't really good at any of them. The higher you level, your level gets, the more you notice the huge difference in weapon mastery. I think that about covers it. A rogue is a jack of all trades and a master of none. I think that you should, that should sum it up. So as mentioned above, the rogue's strong points mostly revolve around improving the character's image. It's kind of an ego thing. If you look at it from a system point of view, a rogue is just a weakened version of all the other jobs because no matter which weapon you use, you won't be as good as it is as a real master. As a result, although a rogue looks like it's flexible enough to deal with any situation, the truth is that it can't handle any situation easily. Generally, they're just weak, if you ask me. But I heard the PKK Terror Death was really strong. The Terror Death was a rogue, right? So some rogues are strong then? I think it's a matter of individual player skill. Also, maybe he spends so much, way more money on equipment and abilities. I bet he's got lots of rare abilities. So you're saying that a character's strength is mostly based on equipment and abilities? To a point, yes, but the thing is, strengthening your character with the abilities isn't just for rogues. It's the idea behind strengthening your character is to improve their strong points. Then a rogue can never compete. Ultimately, it all comes down to your own skill. Whatever ability you like, Lady Luck treats everyone the same. Yep, abilities don't matter that much. You have to believe in your beautiful self, and then you become a true warrior. Now, now is the time to stand up. The time for us Brainiacs to take over the world as rogues. Yes, go for it, Nogmug. That's for sure. Whatever ability you have, you got to use it. Otherwise, it's like not having it at all. 
Okay, then if two players of equal strength, with equal equipment, and equal abilities fight each other, one being a brand brandier and the other a rogue, who will lose? I think the rogue would lose. If everything was equal, the rogue would lose, no doubt about it. The rogue would lose. I guess the rogue would lose no matter how much spirit you fight with, that's the limit. Ugh, thorny rogue for the rogue. Hmm. I don't know if I really agree with that. Because rogues, no matter what, always have heavy armor. So even if I'm, like, using stuff such as the Branadier sword, they only use light armor, and I still have heavy armor, and I'm using the Branadier sword. That's how I view it anyway. Oh well. I can't put my two cents into the conversation. Okay, as I create this new thread, I drop a scary prediction on you guys. Oh, also another thing, an Adabro can heal himself no matter what weapon he's using as well. So that's a pretty big impact too. Someone that can't heal himself and someone who can. Anyway. With the release of a new version, Crimson Versus will be an entirely different game. It's not even a card game. Instead, it's a one-on-one -on -one fighting game. Haha. <laughs> this would be the scariest thing I can think of, lol. Okay. Electronic Town. I'm just gonna skip through most of this. I only read topics that are kind of interesting to read about. Hmm. More coma stuff. info on Crimson Verses. Okay, I guess that's it. What were we doing now? Doing. Oh yeah, Syllabus wanted to talk to us about something, so we better meet up with him at the guild. Oh no, Sakaki. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Sakaki. Guess I'll stop by Canard's at home. Yep, guess so.
you came. Thank you. Of course I came. <laughs> Haseo! <laughs> oh, Haseo, you were so cool! You were amazing! Get off me! Hey! <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, Haseo! And, um, I'm really sorry. Why are you apologizing? Well, I mean, we... We didn't do anything. We just left everything up to you. Sorry about that. C come on, you guys. Cut it out. Get your heads up. I just did what anyone else would have done. I mean, after all, I am Canard's guildmaster. It's my job. Right. R really? So you mean that you're not mad at us? Don't make me repeat myself. Are you okay with us? Is there anything we can do to help out? Can I help too? Do what you want. <laughs> New mail. I guess we'll check this while we're here. Greeting cards. Cool. Thanks, bro. I like the greeting cards. Uh, let's check our store. Of course he's not here. Well, how about the guy that's here? Not the leaflet guy. I already know we're still far away from that. I have like 30 more people to find. Hey! That hardly moved. <laughs> What about the grunty, me mecha grunty guy? We haven't really fought any PKers either, so I doubt visiting that guy is gonna be worthwhile. <laughs> Hardly moved. Well, that's a bummer. It's gonna be a while before we max those out. I guess we'll check our mail again? Feels like that's all we do these days, check our mail. Perfection at max cannot increase any further. So, Sylvus and I are like best buds ever. Are you talking about Forest Pain, the limited solo quest that was open until just recently? I heard only a handful of players got to the end. Thank you so much for helping out Gaspard. I'm sorry I left the party halfway through. To repay you, I'll do everything I can to fight against Endrance, I promise. By the way, I heard you were arguing with Kuhn after the match with Bordeaux. Is everything all right? Adelie was kind of worried. It's none of your business. Don't worry about it. People often do disagree with each other, right? Adelie, her and her big mouth. <laughs> I guess we'll say this. I don't want to. I don't want to talk trash about Adelie. Bar defection increased. First, thank you for fighting Bodor for us. Thank you. Thanks to you, I think I can enjoy the world again. Thank you so much. As for Entrance, aside from the fact that he's an undefeated in the Demon Palace, he's a player that no one seems to know 
anything about. He does seem to have a lot of fans who call him an internet pretty boy, lol. Wonder if the cat on his shoulder is some kind of rare item. It looks like a character from a cartoon, doesn't it? Good luck, Gaspar. Don't forget there are people who worry about you. I didn't fight for you. Wow, what a thing to say. He have fair eyes. Do you think that you, the two of us know far too little about each other? Thus, I propose a quest in order for us to become better acquainted. Currently, there's a quest shop. The, there's a quest in the quest shop called Defeat Gurugan. I think it would be fairly useful for us. Should you decide to join me, invite your guild member, Gaspard. I'll be waiting for your reply. I wish to tell you about our future direction. Come to Raven at Yada's home. calling me. Guess I'll go visit Raven's at home. So much to do. Where's the music? Hmm. Must be really subtle. Or maybe it just takes a while for it to kick in. Either way, not interested. <laughs> Heroes the third and Gaspard. Ugh. Yada's calling me. Guess I'll go visit Ravens at home. What a party that'll be. Two of the people that I find most annoying in this game. <laughs> the only thing that would make it worse is if the Grunty got involved too. Okay, everyone's busy, so I guess I have to go to the at home. That's the game's way of railroading you. Alright, Yada. What do you want? Nero. Nero. seems that you have awakened, and you are now able to use your avatar. Huh. Some aren't so happy with that. Hmm. Don't worry about Kuhn. And are you okay with that too, old hag? I will obey Master Yada. Well, you sure are dedicated. You would never understand. Now, shall we get on about your mission? You are to investigate the area of my designation and to attain a sample of the first level Ida. Now, do you have any questions? How do you get it? By using the Avatar's data drain, you can also draw out Ida's data. Hey, you haven't forgotten what you said when you asked me to join GU, have you? I have absolutely no qualms about rendering assistance to you in your search for Tri-Edge. Watch. that happened about a month ago in the world.
This is the same thing that happened to Shino. Due to the shock the victim suffered from the attack, he is in a coma and has yet to recover. You mean there are others like Shino out there? We have a name for the players who have fallen into comas. We like to call them the Lost Ones. The Lost Ones? What is he? An epitaph user? The only thing we know is he's not a regular player. Upon researching the access record for the area, we have found information that matches the three victims. As well as one other unknown player ID, which is suspected to be Triage. Those records remain on the logs. However, the entry record for the Chaos Gate in the same time period of the attack you just watched shows only three players. In other words, He's getting into areas through means other than a Chaos Gate? Yes, he sure fits the description of a ghost. So, how the hell do we track down someone like that? If we find out anything else, I'll definitely let you know. In exchange... You want me to investigate Ida, right? Okay, fine. I'll do it. Very good. I will notify you of your area of investigation later. You are dismissed. Surprised he doesn't want to talk about Endrance and that whole situation. Anyone want a party? Let's see. So maxed out is gold heart with three spinnies. Okay. Uh, the party with these two. <laughs> Why? Poor <Porque>. gay. <laughs> Why you do this to me, game? too many accessories. We need to really sell those. If only our guild had a bigger store inventory. Oh, right. I'm supposed to grab the quest from there. Level 23. While working in the field, it was attacked by Gurugan, who ate my field notes. Please retrieve it. Dr. Oh, no. Poe, I'm afraid I have a terrible problem. I need to ask you for help. Are you willing to extend your helping hand to me? I ran into an ogre called Gurugan the other day, and when I was in the field observing lucky animals, I ran for my life. But my bag was not only taken, but swallowed by oh, Gurugan. No. Oh, could you do this? Believe this would happen? Whatever. My field notes and culmination of many years of research was inside that bag. The completion of my research will be delayed years without it. 
wanted you to find the field note back for me, or get it back for me. Please, I have no one else to turn to. I just have one question. Why are you two so close? Because <laughs> you're both annoying? Those with burning souls are attracted to each other, my friend. Whatever. <laughs> well, Heroes the Third came to shop Acorn. Yes! I had never seen a player with such an awesome character. Oh my gosh. I was so moved. I'm way more awesome than him. <sighs> and then we quickly became good friends. When I discovered we both knew you, we were quite surprised. Yeah, really surprised. Well, <clears throat> We, the great adventurers with burning souls, are now ready to take on this quest. Oh, good grief. Shoot me. <laughs> Shoot me now. <laughs> I don't need this. How's your, how's your gear looking, by the way, bro? Can you use that? Yeah, here. What about your accessories? Simple bracelet. I guess that's fine. Whatever. All right, it's time for a small break. Uh, we made quite a bit of progress, story-wise. Looking forward to seeing how this keeps going. Hope you guys are liking this, and um, I'll catch you back in a bit as I stream more of this. So, later.